set for the evening, so get excited, folks. He's got his video going. He always does something special. Are you ready, Rudy? Always. <laughs> That was only 10 seconds silence in respect to all the victims in the Philippines in the last few disasters they had and uh, I feel for them. You cannot fight with the nature. You always lose, doesn't matter how much you take out of, out of nature, out of earth, out of everything, you always lose. So uh, climate change should be recognized and all of you who contributed into uh, Tony Abbott's uh, victory, go fuck yourself. It, 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 you, you, really, you really fucked it up. And as, a, as, a, as a Catholic, as a devoted Christian, as a devoted Catholic, I've been telling you for months and months and fucking months, to vote for Australian sex party. <laughs> See how ironic is that? You voted for Tony Abbott, not for Australian sex party, and you fucked up. <laughs> how ironic is that? You're a prime minister who doesn't recognize climate change. Maybe he should have been here on Saturday night in Byron, when he, it looked like a garbage fucking kitten. It looked like skiing joint somewhere in Austria or, or somewhere in Switzerland. Snow, ice all over the all over the Bayern in the in the beginning of the summer. Eh? Uh, they believe in making the rich people richer and coal seam gas companies just, just having the best time in their life. They're gonna burn this country. They're gonna burn this place. They fuck it up and then they're gonna change it into Australia, like Ash, and I already started to make business out of that, I've got, a, I've got an ash tray with, a, with the images of burnt koala and burnt kangaroo, so that ash tray will be for sale once Tony Abbott is finished with fucking up his own country, Croatian guy and the Filipino wife saving this place, it's just crazy isn't it? But anyway, uh, experts, I hate experts, because Tony, maybe, maybe Tony thinks that he's an expert for everything, but he definitely is going to fuck up with that climate change thing. I was listening to an expert the other night on the television, uh, he was a food expert, and he said, uh, amongst all shit that he said, he also said that uh, uh, Rice is a very beneficial food, it, it, it's very good for your body, however, uh, it decreases uh, men's libido. So what the fuck are you talking about, you idiot? What are you talking about? So 1.5 billion Chinese people in this world, they, uh, they work, eat rice and fuck. But they're definitely not decreasing. Men's libido, rice, rice is fantastic. My wife makes me three or four meals a day with rice. And we had to buy a new television because uh, when we watched that show, I was screaming at the guy on the television and now the hotel is covered with rice. And it's all fucked up. See? So if, if, you, if, you, if you voted, uh, Australian sex party, you could watch much better programs on the television. There will be maybe a few drips on the screen, but they usually pretty easy to wipe off with Windex and a little bit of paper towel. But anyway, you know, that's a whole, f that, that's a whole, that's a whole fuck up of the story, yeah? Uh, also, uh, uh, I have to say that uh, uh, two weeks ago I became second time grandfather this year with a second granddaughter. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, when I when I did my family tree, 
Uh, uh, I noticed that all women in the past of my family and my ex-wife's family had baby between 18 and 20 years old and so did my first two daughters had babies very young which proves that in my family girls don't fuck around, they fuck properly and from the beginning and, and, and they would definitely, if they lived in Australia they would definitely uh, vote for Australian sex party which I'm in love with Thank you very much. Have a nice night. Keep it going for Rudy, everyone. He will be our new Prime Minister one day. <laughs>